guys what's up welcome to wig fall styles wednesday so today i'm using hair from sam's beauty i have 613 bundles in 14 16 18 and a 14 inch closure and this hair um, i'm gonna do watercolor so i'm just pouring the water into the bin as you guys can see and it is boiling hot water so i'm putting a door and i got the royal blue color to go in there and i just kind of mix this up and i only used two bottles but i'm thinking maybe i should have gotten three but i definitely did make it work so i'm just stirring the product around making sure that it gets distributed evenly before i put the hair in So here I am dipping the hair into the water, guys. And this first bundle seemed like it just soaked up all of the color. And it seemed like it just was nothing left for the rest of the bundles. So, um, like I said, I definitely advise you guys to probably get like three bottles of color instead of two. If you're using three bundles in a frontal or a closure and um just make sure that you like stretch out the bundles and make sure they get colored all the way inside but even my closure like i dip the closure in the water and um it's still like some of the roots had a little teal blue look on it but it definitely turned out good in the end so i was definitely happy with the ending results <laughs> So this is how the hair turned out guys as you all can see I'm trying to show you guys like the bottom blue the middle blue and the top blue so I have like a really really dark blue at the bottom and then it goes from like a little teal to like another dark blue um, or more of the royal blue so I'm just going in and parting the hair making sure that is shaped and molded where i want it to be and this is my plucking process so i definitely enjoy plucking closures more than i enjoy plucking frontals because it's just faster and um, i feel like a, a closure is a more smaller area so you're able to kind of fine tune it a little better but um yeah guys this is just how i do it i kind of just like skip a a section and just do every other section of hair kind of pluck that out and with this closure I kind of wanted to make it look really really natural so I kind of like sort of created like a gap between the baby hairs and the actual hairline if you would say and just to make it look a little bit more realistic and natural since this is blue hair so at this point guys when you're plucking if it starts to look like you want it to as far as the shape of the hair where you parted it and everything like that then I'm pretty sure that it'll turn out really good for you so just make sure that you're plucking the correct way and making everything look how you want it to look So the hot comb is major, major key, guys. Like, as you guys can see, I'm just hot combing this hair and molding it the way that I want it to. I hot combed this um, left side. And as you guys can see, it's kind of laying back like with a little swoosh. And you also see how I'm doing this kind of like going up with it because I want height and volume. So you create that look with your hot comb and also with the curls. So now I'm going in and showing you guys how I get all the layers, all the body, um, the bangs, just all of that. So this is kind of the easy way, just using a razor comb and just going in and kind of I like eyeballing it and seeing okay 
you know, following different guidelines and just making sure that it falls the way that you want it to fall. So um, there is like a more professional way to get this look. But on a wig, I usually just use my good old handy dandy razor comb and go in. So you just want to, you know, do this all over, guys, and make sure, like I said, that you're following guidelines from the other sections and just going in. So as you guys can see, I've been razoring it for a little minute now. So I'm just kind of going in and making sure everything is meeting up. And when I like shake it, I'm shaking it to see like, or when I'm pulling it up and then when I'm shaking it, I'm doing that to see like, is there any pieces that's off just to kind of cross check myself and make sure that the cut looks pretty good. So if not, then I'll go in and cut a little bit more. But for the most part, this is how I do it guys. So on to the good stuff, guys. So I'm using my Conair Barrel Curling Iron. And if you stay tuned to the end to see the finished results, then you will see this barrel curling iron up front, up close and personal. And I'm going to tell you guys all the specs, the inch of the barrel and everything like that. But I absolutely love this curling iron. It gives me the best results as far as the size of the curls. And when it falls, when the curls fall a little bit, the curls are perfect. Like this size is perfect. And I'm just using my, some um, silver clips to hold the curls in place. And that's just to set them while they're hot. And they definitely stay a little bit longer. So guys, the hot comb is definitely a way to set your hair using... Um, clips to pin up your curls is a way to set your hair so all of these things are setting your hair up to last and to give you the look that you want so you always have to set your hair and that's what gives you like that nice professional salon look So before I put the wig on my head, guys, I'm just going in with the razor comb and cutting the baby hairs a little bit shorter so it'll be easy to work with. Yeah, I literally thought I was recording this whole time, but apparently I wasn't. So basically all I did was just put my wig on and cut the lace off. But as you guys can see, the lace definitely needs to be um, like corrected. So I'm going to do that afterwards, but right now... I'm about to lay the baby hairs and set them. Going in with my got to be glued and just put it right on that lace. I'm just going to take this little spatula thing and swoop my baby hairs. Okay guys, so next I'm going to use one of my black strips 
and tie it down. Okay guys, so I had to take off my scarf to finish doing like so I could get the makeup up here. I'm going to take my powder, Sephora powder, and I'm going to put some on my lace. thousand photos um i absolutely love my hair guys it turned out really really good as you guys can see um after just like running my hands through it for a while it has definitely the curls have loosened but they have loosened like gorgeously if you guys like see how much body it has it's just it's gorgeous like i never knew i would like blue hair on me so good but i do i do i do i do Ooh. <laughs> so it was three bundles guys and i took the longest bundle and i put it in the watercolor first and as you guys can see it's definitely darker than the rest of the bundles and then the second bundle came out to like this little teal color and then i added some more dye and then i got this top color so i mean it is like three different type of blues but honestly as you can see it blends perfectly and it looks really really good so i actually got this on accident but i'm kind of glad that i was able to get this type of look because it looks cool it looks really good i always let my hair air dry but it needed a little bit of help with dry finishing drying so i did go ahead and blow dry it like a tad bit I made the wig and then I um, went ahead and molded out this part in the front piece. And the tip is make sure you have a hot comb, have a really good curling iron, whether it be a flat iron or, but I would recommend using a barrel curling iron. And this is the one that I use, guys. It is Conair one and one fourth inch um curling iron so this is the one that i use and the curls are pretty tight at first but as you guys can see they've loosened and it's like perfectly the way that i wanted it so um i have a wig that i have named kativa and i style the wig like this so yeah guys if you're interested in getting like a regular color wig this color then Hit me up on wigfallstyles.com and I got you. But for now, guys, this hair came from Sam's Beauty. I thank you so much to Sam's Beauty for sending me out this hair. I've worked with them before and I absolutely love um, their hair. It's definitely uh, affordable and for the price, you're able to do, you know, what you need to do to the hair. 
and um as you guys can see this was 613 hair and i mean wow it's i just never would have thought that it would look this freaking good and just hold a curl like this so i'm really 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 impressed um again thank you sam's beauty for sending me this hair because your girl is feeling herself and i might wear this out in public thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you all in my next video bye guys